And uh, what's this? More consumables coming out the bottom lane. He gets a full bottle to come the way of the clockwork. But this won't function for them because you also need to run a bottle oh, towards the go. death drop in the, the middle lane. Yeah, he's, he's too deep. He's too deep. The problem's gonna dive as well. And there's just your first hit with the charge. The ice path will control him. And die, he's the one I thought would actually be the first blood. First one, one. <laughs> but then the blade mail. I never really understood, apart from being tanky and having people focus on you because you're a really annoying hero. The, the, the Blade Mail is basically it. The Blade Mail stops... Uh, I just want to see how this top lane goes before I start breaking this down. Uh, Spirit Breaker, he's going to go through the straight bash, which means then the Hawkstop can follow. A double edge is possible for the Clockwork. Hawk shots in absolutely perfectly. He does not everything. He has mana for Cogs. Razor into the tree line. They'll chase him down. They can scout, scout him out. The Hawk will attack the range, which will kill off the Razor, while the Cogs isolate the Clockwork. And they've already got the pick off over on the centaur but the chase is on the charge down and dive backing up they see the ventral freeze backing up to try and get the bat can't get it in time they will give the double kill over to the nature's prop he's in it's his bottom lane his bottom lane they're gonna go on top of the raid the macro fire is down just burning the crap out of him and the support's coming in it's just ignite however charge off cooldown in two seconds time so they can try and turn to go into that spirit breaker but Zizu's a little bit too low on life and he's had 224 points of damage taken away from him. He wants to go home. Clockwork, nice hook in, just TP out to Kuro. Left the Spirit Breaker die, he tries to charge himself. They got my tie drain. Death Prophet. Okay, you're really close to a lineup that just got a hold stop on a two with the ice bar pop and the macro fire. Clockwork will hook himself in, but it's the Templar as well. He's got the Aegis Steam all while Lucius charges himself up. Can he get the ulti off on Death Prophet? Yes, he can. Pushing us down the hill. Templar has 190 points of damage. Give it over towards the Razor, who's still alive, but not there any longer. It's Bald Hero is going the way of Team Romania. And Vengeful Spirit is a triple kill for Synergy. That's the Maelstrom from Nature's Prophet. Coming in and dishing out the DPS. Death Prophet does. Yeah, they signal down to the bot lane. Zizzo having a free. Uh, hook in. They go for Templar Assassin. The Observe Ward gave him the space for it. And now Dust as well. Yule stepped her up. And he's still got that Dust on top of him. And he's going to move in and have the help. Coming in from the Sentinel. The Aegis Demon will blow. But they've given him so much to just get this far. Illusions. Too much damage being taken from that Exorcism of the Death Prophet. So he will officially go down now. Templar Assassin locked inside the Cogs. And again, that drain of damage. 112 points. 140 points. 168. Just let it go over 9,000. As they chase after the Templar Assassin, can't get close, and then the Hawk stop, but it's still enough damage! You accept the 32 that Death Prophet drops down to, and then the Exorcism brings it back up to full life again. And there's no reason why they can't just dive under the tower after Zizu. He'll have Ice Path up in a moment. Support's coming in from the Templar Assassin. Spoiler the BS the back. Mother cast on two. And now it's the Russians' turn to take a very commanding fight. It's Templar Assassin. And actually dodging the magic missile with a Mel Strike. Picks up one. Now the Yulsa to being used. The charge on the way towards that Death Prophet. They won't be able to bring down the tower. Prophet looking to TP him. Death Prophet will be visible. Not enough to go pretty damn close to it. The Sprout with the Trap. They have walked themselves around this Sprout now. Diving into the tower with a blink. Dagger is very, very easy to do. The Mel Strike will connect. Razor weaving through. Bottom lane. You're by Clockwork. Your Scepter into the Magra Pyre. Okay, that was a little bit slow from the combination of Zizu. The Sprout will come and die. He thought he actually could use the Cogs to get himself away. Now he'll hook shot bang in to Synergy. Wants the kill. Can he actually get it in time? The damage output. The Ice Path will be there. One more Liquid Fire will come off cooldown. He'll take the kill from that one Illusionist. He'll have to throw his body into the line here if he wants to try and stop this at all. Ice Path, nothing. He'll just let his Shakiro die on the bottom lane. And Team Romania get punished, but then they try to do the punishing as well. Hawk Stomp, double edge, the SB was charging his way in. Uh, the negative armor coming from the Templar Assassin against him. Because they're just dropping too quickly. Hawk shot. Away. He went straight past Zizu. Now he comes back up again, but that's Ice Pass. This time he'll do the Ice Pass first, then the Magra Fire with all the Ishka pulled out, but the Takiro is liquid fire. He followed him down. Now the Vengeful Spirit found himself taking a lot of damage inside the Magra Fire. And the Ice Pass keeping back that Death Prophet, who's now got Nolten being very ineffective on the map. And on top lane, the Tier 3 Tower is being attacked by the Templar Assassin, forcing the TP to come back, and that opens up for the maybe the initiation for the Centaur. Exorcism is now actually we only got one quarter of his duration left. The base, finds the Venge. What the hell is he doing in there? <laughs> Getting kills. Zizu's looking for him. He can go on Death Prophet right now. If he Yule Scepters him, actually Yule Scepters himself, 
The Exorcism will wear off, <laughs> and Centaur, he's got Blink, off stop, and support coming in from Sanji. Death Prophet died so quickly, and Ogum is died. He's the Molly cast, but couldn't get it. The charge is coming back down again. The Death Prophet will buy back into the game, but it's only Crypt Swarm, and the Liquid Fire chips away at the tower. Now, Sanji will come towards the top lane, make an army of triggers, and now they're just charging over the Cog's illusion, and the Hawk stop looking for him. The Silence will come in, mean there's no Hawk stop, there's no double edge. Hawk shot point blank range, stunning up two of them. Illusion is more short at the moment. Ogum is dying, set up in the the air yeah, and Templar Assassin. This BKP is not protecting him the way he would really want to happen, but now he can turn a little bit into Razor. The Razor, he got the perfect deal set for up in, and that's going to be Centaur dying behind the tower. The tier 3 is still alive, and they come out even deeper. The Templar Assassin to drop a multicast three times over on them. the Jakira. Will be a full team fight. Templar Assassin brings down the Vengeful Spirit. How much damage can she dish out? Refractory be burnt through. She's trying to get up towards that Razor, cannot reach him in time. Those ult opening. There's Illusionist trying to go for the ulti on Dai. And now Sentinel now he's trying to get the hook stop off. There will be a bash pushing the clockwork out. And the Wrath of Nature coming in. The Moldy Cast. Okay, just take the random generator gods your way. But Ogum is dying. He will not be escaping from this one. No, my, no amount of multi is going to save him. Clockwork and Ogre go down for a kill. And then with the TA, the Jakira, and, the, and uh, the Nature's Prophet all together on that bottom lane, they're ready to fight. Trigger the Necro units. They want the Raxas, so that's the primary thing. That's the, all they really want in this situation. There you got mass TPs coming in. Ogamajai comes forward. Templar Assassin starts losing the damage, but then Ice Path and the Ul Scepter. And she gets three people that Ice Path Mel Sprite drops the race on a half because five points hook shot off target there from Dai. Splitting the lineup of, of the Romanians. And now they come back in again. Centrally, perfect cogs from Dai. But then it's just a simple blink up towards the high ground. Safety Prophet looking for the lightning frogs. He's gonna get it as well. Razor down, Clockwork will buy back. Same for the Ogre. And then, well, how many life points? How many buybacks they got? The Death Prophet will also drop. But she will buy back. It's triple buybacks right now. The VS dropping him with the Ice Park. It's a perfect target again. You got a triple kill for Synergy. The bottom tower is gone. And they can turn. I don't know why they're actually backing up here. Blink and Hulk stop. Okay, that was fouled there by the Centaur. But the Ice Path controls the Ogre. You've got Clockwork in there with the Prophet, who will actually get hit before he can get that cheese off. And the charge coming in for the Death Prophet. They just keep battling it out. The Sprout will hold it. The Ice Path as well. Dying is locked in by the Sprout. It's a double kill for Synergy. This really is over. There's too many heroes down. They're down for too long. GG is the call. Romanians will take game number one up against the Russians, they pushed hard, they got so much money. And their advantage in pushing power and stability. The, the bank is what fueled their war just then. But they had the best of everything. They had the hate train and the Nature's Prophet and the Spirit Breaker all across the map, finding the Razor who was left alone yep. by the Ogre and Venge who wanted to try and defend the Death Prophet who died to the TA. Just all across the map.